Hello everybody, Turius Horus here. Hope you're all having a great day. I am doing pretty well. There are several reasons for that, one of which is this. Sneak has now reached 50, which means we have unlocked Assassin's Blade. Assassin's Blade is very, very cool, and that enables us to have the strongest attack available in the game. So now we are going to slightly shift our focus from archery for a while. We are going to start using one-handed weapons more, start sticking skills into one-handed weapons. And we are also going to be getting Assassin's Blade as well as increasing our sneak so that we can get up behind people and performing backstab and, and doing stuff like that. But in order to do this at, at the optimal ability that we can, we're gonna need some Dark Brotherhood armor. So that is what we are going to do today, guys. We are going to uh, go talk to... Uh, Alright, so we've already done that. Have we gotten the message yet? Contract. Right, more... Uh, mysterious note. Yes. So then, we... Are gonna go sleepy, sleepy. Um, let's uh, let's role play a little bit, right? So. Um, so you can spend it on food at the Bannered Mare. If it's food you need, ask for that instead. Hmm. Trying to think of where some inconspicuous beds are that we can sleep in, in order to stay safe. From these Dark Brotherhood bastards. Okay, well, it's daytime right now, so we don't need to sleep anyways. We can head down here. Pretty sure there are some beds out here in like a little cabin camp thing. I could sleep there. So let's head out this way. We'll find some nice beds to sleep in. I will check the time. So we'll say that we started at. Um, 50 so we'll, we'll stop at about 120 yeah always gonna be needing oh domed domed sucker I love the animation for when you steal a soul I actually wish the dragon one was a different color just so it would be cooler. I don't know. There's there's something not to my liking so much with the color they chose. There's that. Now let's actually pull out the Orcish Dagger. Because this too has Soul Steel on it. I think that might be the camp right out there. So we're going to sneak up on some mud crabs. Sneak up being relative, we're not really sneaking at all. They see us. Oh, well, maybe they don't. Yeah, by the way, mud crabs, easiest way to fill up a petty soul gem. Just so you guys know. Um, also, great thing to farm and spam if you want to get uh, stamina potions, which is good for heavy warrior guys, I think, because they want to do those power attacks and smack people in the face. Ooh, butterflies. Butterflies. Butterfly. There we go. Alright, so let's keep heading out this way. Ooh. Don't think my sneak is good enough to sneak up on a deer just yet. But you never know. So let's try and do some melee hunting here. I wonder if they actually have that built in. When you're actually sneaking up on an animal like this, when they're feeding is the best time to do it because they feel at ease. But I don't know if they actually programmed that into the game or not. I would think not. 
just because that's that's an awful minor detail and then the coders would actually have to know about hunting and stuff like that and they might it's a pretty popular sport but we would have to see oh he heard me wow that's like no damage I'm not even gonna bother not even going to bother chasing them down. I'd have to hit them so much. Here it is. This abandoned house. Ah, get some. Not sure why I really did that. Alright. So basically, we are afraid. We will call this place home at night. Because we are hiding from the Dark Brotherhood and they are not likely to find us out here in the middle of nowhere when no one knows where we are where we are not when we are we are in the present I don't think we can change time at least not yet mm-hmm spoilers no do you get the slow time in this I think there's a slow time to him I might be thinking of fable not sure what time is it it's only four in the afternoon I guess we get some hunting done um, try and level up our sneak skill some more so yeah we're gonna try and Now I know that they put sight into the game. I could just shoot him up the butthole with an arrow. Coming from straight behind him, in theory this should be the easiest place to get him from. Nope, they hear me right before I get up to them. Oh, Muffle! I forgot that I got Muffle. I should start casting that more, actually. Here, let's, um... Oh, wrong one. Ooh, I don't have enough Magicka for Muffle. Well, maybe I'll stick a, a perk into Illusion before I start maxing out my one-handed skills and all that. Let me just see what illusion costs and stuff like that. Illusion. Here we are. So first, cast novice levels for half. Dual casting overcharges. Of course, it's always a good one. Calm spells work on higher level. Um, illusion spells work on high. I like that. Work on higher level animals. Um, less, less, master. Fear spells work on more. Frenzy spells. Ooh, our silent to others. That would be a good one. Work on undead, Daedra, and Atama. And Atomatons? Atomaton! So yeah, it looks like if you're going to do Illusion Mage, you can do this. Maybe this if you really want it, but you want to stay over here to the right one because they now work on all sorts of different things. They're quiet. They work on higher level. Yada, yada, yada. I might do a little bit into illusion. First, let's check what level spell this is. This is Apprentice. So then, will Novice cover Apprentice? No, it won't, actually. That's kind of dumb. I don't know if I really want to get into the whole illusion spell thingy then. I might not. You know, we'll just see what happens later on down the line. But I think we're going to sleep. Uh, we'll sleep for eight hours, whatever. Doesn't really matter. And now we're going to wake up all drugged. Here we are. I'm always very curious as to what she slipped us. Sleep well. What? Where am I? Who are you? Matter? 
You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod. Hmm? Yeah. You know Half about of that? Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old crone had it coming. Darn right and she did. She saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight mm, problem. <gasps> problem. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me and my associates. Oh, snap. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. Well, I am a, a thief. I steal everything. Repay. repay? All right. Who am well, I killing? Now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I love I how they say turn around. Them from... And you can't actually That's turn around. Important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, we... Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want... Am I to take... Then you know where we stand. Make your kill, and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. And I will use a knife as well. Thank you. Alright. Now this guy's pretty nice. She is a complete of chomplet. And this guy is full of himself. Pretty sure. Whatever the problem me? Are you serious? Don't you get it? I live in the shadow of death every day. A knife in every doorway. I don't know a who this guy is. On every rooftop. If one of my enemies would not pay to have me killed, I would take it as a personal insult. Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. <laughs> have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. So this guy's basically like Mafia. Tell you what, you release me and I promise my associates will not cut you down like an animal and butcher you in the street. It is a win-win. I kind of like him, actually. By I know I don't God. like her. When I get out of here, you're dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Leah Quintus. <laughs> she dead. I always take one of these executioner heads oh, for God, some reason. Let me live. I, what? Oh God! I, I don't. Okay. Well. Free I speech skill. I've been selling my, but, uh, but. My all right. Name, that's all. I'm a nobody, really. So I really wish there was a way to free these go. guys a little bit, actually. Hello. Hello. I, I know you're listening. Uh, please. Hmm. Whatever it is. I'm sorry. Ah, the feisty good wife. Quite the mouth on her. Someone yep. must have wanted her dead. Right? Yep. Indeed. For you, of course. I would like in the south when quest I'll see you at home. Boom. All right, now we can leave here. Um I might look up if there is a way to free them, though I don't think that there is. I always hate it here because whenever you try and fast travel, they're like, there is an enemy nearby. And I'm like, screw you. But yeah. Alright, I guess we will go to um, Riverwood. See, you cannot fast travel. There's enemies nearby. Darn you all to hell. Alright, well I know i got to collect 20 of these or something like that. For a potion chick. I might start working on that now because it takes a while. Um, what's dumb is more often than not, it's like a slaughterfish. You are held up here by a bloody slaughterfish. I want to speak another language. Oh, here's a thought. Do any of you guys speak another language? That is something that could be fun to hear. 
I know some of you guys aren't from the US and so it would make sense for you guys not to speak English as your first language. Hey Fox. What ya? But um yeah, share that with me. I think it, it would be a fun little adventure to hear what different languages you guys speak. Yeah. That sounds good. How long has it been? Um We got a little bit more time. About 13 more minutes, actually, so we've got quite a bit more time. Gonna start sneaking around. Always trying to level my sneak skill, so I sneak everywhere. Um, just like in Oblivion, how you jump everywhere to get that um, acrobatic skill, I think it was called. Well, I sneak everywhere to make sure my sneak skill rises. I have uh, worked on optimizing the graphics a little bit, some more, so that we get a little bit better frame rate. Um, seems like my computer is good, but not quite good enough to run most of the graphics on high and or ultra and record at the same time. At least for now. We may be working on that in the future. Um, I plan on getting uh, an SSD to hold my operating system on and probably fraps on that as well. And then I will... Uh, have my terabyte or two terabyte I think it's just one terabyte um, normal hard drive to store all the files on and that should actually help fraps run a lot smoother I don't know what it is about fraps but how it encodes the raw data so quickly uh, is I guess really hard drive intensive I guess you could say and so it has a problem running on the same hard drive that it records to um, at least I've heard this and I think that's kind of one of the reasons my computer doesn't run everything as smooth as it could. Because I know my computer is pretty, pretty good. Like, it, it's not a CyberPower Zeus or anything like that. But it's not some hunky dunk pooper computer like my old PC was. So I should be able to record Skyrim at at least a solid 50 frames per second. Um, as of right now, I float anywhere from about 35 to 50. Depending on how often I've been moving, where I'm moving through, all that kind of stuff. Um, enemies on screen, stuff like that. I'm not too, too worried about it. It doesn't really appear to show through on the videos. Um, there's a select number of people who can't actually see the difference between uh, 30 and 60 frames per second. I just know that it kind of helps when um, encoding to YouTube because YouTube has this great tendency of taking like nice looking videos and making them look like someone pooped in, in their hard drive before uploading it. Like, I don't know. I, mean, I was trying to think of a better way to say that than I did and I failed if you couldn't tell. But um, you guys know what I'm trying to say. It, it kills video quality for some reason which I don't necessarily understand but it happens it's all good it's all part of the whole YouTube process uh, which is something to think about by the way when you guys actually uh, or if any of you guys make a channel and upload videos I know some of my subs actually have their own channel uh, before I made my channel which is always cool but um, yeah if you guys ever make a channel um, what you see on your screen is not the final product that is the highest quality that it will get and your quality is probably gonna drop a good 20 30 percent when you upload it to YouTube so like um, if you have minor fuzziness or a minor skip in your photo or not photo in your video before you upload it that uh, is gonna get pretty noticeable when you upload it onto the YouTube. Oh dang. Frickin' spiders. He didn't notice me yet. Shazam! Oop, sneak skill is increased guys and we got a level. Heck you. Yeah. Alright, let's keep heading through here. I'm kinda just walking around because I want to discover Solitude as it is. I like their blacksmith. He's a cool guy. And also, um, to gather alchemy materials, because of course alchemy needs to grow. 
as I told you guys, I want to make legitimate um, god tier armor. Uh, I don't want to type in console commands like I could. I could just go T, G, M right now, and I'd be invincible. I could give my skill, myself all the skills. I could give myself all the gold, all the items that I want, anything. I know how to cheat. I don't want to cheat. I want to break the game. Um, I prefer exploitations over legitimate cheating things. At least when I'm actually going to record it. I have no problem with breaking the game if someone didn't code it right. So basically, like I said, within Skyrim, there's this whole thing where, oh, you can do this, this, and this, and it will uh, make it so that you can infinitely improve your stuff to be better and better and better. That is broken code or a broken mechanic within the game, and thus, I do not see it as cheating. I see it as needs to be patched. However, typing and stuff and being like, oh, well, I'm going to do this, or... I could open up um, Steam Workshop and just make an item that does like 10 bazillion damage. I could do that too, but once again, that's adding an item to the game that wasn't there before, and cheating. I don't know. Just my opinions on exploitations versus actual cheats. Now, I will say I'm not a big fan of using exploits when playing an MMO because at that point you're playing with other people uh, and there's just something that I don't feel is right when you do that like if it's one thing like oh it lets me get this title quicker than I normally would have that's not so bad but if it's something like hey you know I'm gonna max level and blah 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 by the way, guys, check this out. Let me see if I can find it. There's like this twig right here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Next to this bush, there should be... Twig, that's fairly obvious. There's a hidden chest around here. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to remember where it's at. So you got to... Walk up here. It's not that. Then somewhere down here. There it is. Right, right there. This is a chest for one of the merchants inside of Solitude. I'm not going to take anything, but let's go ahead and check what's inside of it. So we've got two band shields, waning fire, souls, steel battle axe, um, souls again, binding, steel, amethyst. I think this is for the general guy, um, or general store, 600 or 750 gold, horker tusks, leather, mammoth tusks, paralysis poisons, soul gems, skooma, wolf pelts, major conjuring, minor illusion, iron boots, clothes, stuff like that. So yeah, if you ever feel like um, breaking the game a little bit on a single player thingy, well, it's all single player. You know what I mean. Uh, and you just want some extra gold. Shazam, right up here somewhere. I lost it. There it is. Basically just down from this little bushy thing right here. This is the twig I was talking about. This one right there. It's pretty obvious to find. But yeah. <laughs> I did that on um, two different chests. On the guy that I played through on my own. So I was like level three. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a badass. Or should I say I'm a badass? Remember? Because I don't say that. I don't curse. No, actually, I curse a lot. I always want to save this guy. Tell them he didn't do it. But Position. I don't think Party that I can. If anyone knows a successful way to save that guy, please tell me. Because I like him. I think that he stood by his traditions and thus is an honorable Nord and should live. Um, what am I doing up here? Oh, right, I can make some leather. So let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Make one leather strips. Cool. 
didn't betray them. It's your laws. There was no murder. Um. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. See what I say? Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim. And, and all Lords. Lords. See exactly. He's a good guy. Why am I here? Oh right. I, I wanted access to that blacksmith. That was really the only reason for coming here. And access to all this nightshade. <laughs> junk? What junk? I guess I probably am actually carrying a bunch of junk. Eagle! I know that you can shoot these guys down and gather their feathers, but I always feel bad for it. So I don't think I will until I absolutely have to for something. What time is it? Uh, 118? Alright, I think that we will head outside, catch a caravan on down to on down to something staying safe i hope i'm always safe um falkreath yeah catch a caravan on down to falkreath rogbeer's dead that guy's sharpening his axe now like a bastard meridia meridia's funny just you have found my beacon I don't know why it's in 17 chests across Skyrim, but there's only one, I swear. That's but yeah, no. Uh, ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. Yeah, we're gonna join the Dark Brotherhood. Gonna slaughter some peoples. Nah, actually, we don't even need to slaughter some peoples, really. Uh, talk to there. Where do you want to go? Carriage me, please, to Falkreath. We'll Will do, sir. Carriaging. That'd be good. But yeah, we're gonna go get the Dark Brotherhood thingy. Have I seen a dog? No, I have not seen a dog. No. No. Oh well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Alrighty, so then that's clear. Right. Need to go out this way. Dark Brotherhood thingy. Ooh, mushrooms. Fly Armanita. Um Head down this way. We'll listen to that creepy annoying door. Get our armor. And then really we're done after that. Um yeah, we'll probably get our armor, call it an episode, and uh, continue. Well, for me, it'll be continuing in like five minutes. For you guys, it's going to be a little while. Uh, let me see, what is today for you guys? Today is Sunday for you guys. It will be Wednesday for the next episode. But, yeah. Silence, my brother. This isn't home. I've never been here before. Oh, well. Alright, so I think first things first, let's do this level up before I forget. Um, I'm going to do one into stamina, just because I never remember to really do it. Let's go this way. Sneak. This skill. We're going to get Assassin's Blade. Bam! Sneaky Daggerage. Much better now. We now do 15 times damage. Ah, Let's get this. At last. I hope you found the place all right. Pretty well. Look well, at the blockiness around her lips now? from the distance. Is this, as you I think part see, of it is because sanctuary. I'm so far away. But you must um, soon. And I have oh, uh, one last detail thing. fade on. A welcome home present. The armor of the dark brother. Thank you, lady. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Yeah, see, as I'm I get closer, I she looks a lot better. But back you. here, she looks junky. That's the whole object fade thingy that I did. Um, I did that so that uh, I just get better frames. This is the kind of like mage set. If you're not into the whole um, other thingy. Um, Free Petty Soul Gem. Lost Legends. I think this starts the Red Eagle one. Yeah. Or the Galder legend, something like that. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. Yeah, Galder legend, that was it. Alright, so then let's head 
up here to just outside of the Dark Brotherhood thingy. That is the Woe Blade, I think it's called. It's pretty cool. Um, let's actually cancel that whole Galder thing because I don't want to. Uh, we've got Sanctuary done. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not really sure. Um, but. Um, maybe a giant got him. <laughs> Was he here before? Um, okay. Yeah. Um, odd. <laughs> Skyrim, everybody. Um, so yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please leave a like down below if you did. And, um, suggestions for the channel and for the series is always appreciated. Um, we will be seeing you guys in just a little bit.